Ooh, this is bumpy. This is very, very bumpy. Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Old Streams. Now this map got a very good response on the first one. Sorry it's been like a week since um, the last Old Streams was uploaded. The reason for that is because if you missed it, we did a lot of live streams last week. Um, quite successful live streams as well, so thank you to everybody that, um, that joined in with me on that. Um, there has been a slight change of equipment. Uh, not too much different, uh, just I didn't realise the map was so small basically. I thought the fields were quite big, but apparently they're tiny, so... Um, for example, the big coon milk mowers that were here last time, we now have a small sipma. I think that's much more realistic. Um, just little stuff like that, basically. The baler we used last episode is only temporary, guys. I'm still currently looking for a baler. But, we did use that one last time, which means today we have to have... We've got two jobs today, basically. We have to cultivate... No, we don't. Why did I say that? We have to harvest some canola, and we also have to collect the bales from the last episode. So... You may notice we pulled the Fiat out of the garage, and there's a very good reason for that. I'm going to go over to our machinery shop. Well, machinery shed. And we are going to jump into the John Deere real quick. Now, that is a front loader, that Deutz, but um, I want to use the John Deere today. So let's just close the door real quick. Finally got my um, joystick working, guys, which is why there's been a massive delay in episodes, basically nothing worked, and I've literally, at the time you're seeing this, well, before I recorded this, I mean, I've reset my computer back to <coughs> back to factory settings. My voice is going, by the way. Um, and it's luckily Windows 10, if you have Windows 10, it lets you, well, it gives you the option to keep all your files, but still reset all like, the Windows 10 stuff, which is very handy. They didn't have that in Windows 7, which is nice of them. So what we're going to do is park the Johnny in here. Jump out, and you probably worked out what we're doing. I've basically edited the map very, very slightly, so there's now an invisible trigger in here, which gives us the uh, hardpoint extension. Now, I've already um, bought it to see if it was working, so we're going to attach the front loader console to the John Deere. Part has been attached. And there we go, this is now a front loader as well. Um, we only have two tractors on the farm, so why not? Let's go ahead and start it back up. Okay, everybody, so we have to put the front loader on the Johnny right now, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We only have one actual front loader, so we are going to have to take it off the Deutz. We've already done that. I actually did record it. Well, actually, I tried to record it and actually forgot to press record because I'm an idiot. Now, I'm not going to get... People last time said, why did I not use manual attachment for this front loader? Guys, in real life, I don't know if you know this, but front loaders clip on. You need to undo the handles to take them off. But in real life, you just... The collisions are a bit weird on this tractor, but... In real life, you just drive into them and then they go snap on instantly. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. Like that. Now, we need to get one more thing from the shed. I always forget I have shuttle mode on because I'm an idiot. So, yeah, we are going to be doing some a little bit of harvesting as well today, guys. I'm probably going to time-lapse the bales because, let's face it, that's boring. Go ahead and connect that. Lower the front loader. Everything seems to be pr running pretty smoothly since I um, reset my computer, by the way, guys. Apart from the fact I keep forgetting my shuttle mode, because I'm an idiot. Now, we actually need another tractor up here, just to hold the trailer in place, mainly. Uh, I should have brought the Deutz over with me. No worries, I have a plan. Which involves us not going back and getting the Deutz. Now, to save us bringing the Deutz up, because we forgot to bring it up, um, the people that owned this farm last time left a little bit of old equipment behind, so we're going to go ahead and see if it still works. So they left this old... What even is this? A fa Farmulus? Possibly? Um, not sure if it works. Let's go ahead and see if she works. Mm, come on. Yes, there we go. Go ahead and close this. And hopefully she starts again. There we go. Whew. Let's see how fast she goes. Probably not very fast at all. 
Not bad, considering it's been sat in a bush for ages, but... We're not really going to be using this for anything on the farm. We're just literally using it as an anchor for now, because it was right next to us. And I can't see down at the titch. The hitch, rather. Let's tie her off. And hook her up. Now that's basically just going to keep the trailer in place. We've basically used this tractor as an anchor. Um, so with that said, let's jump into the John Deere. And now let's try and collect bales. I say try. Let me just move the camera back, actually. Right, excuse my fat gut. Um, yeah, I say try, guys, because we're using small bells, in case you haven't noticed. So this could get interesting. Now I'm going to time lapse this because we've all seen me do bailing before and it's very tedious. So with that said, I'm going to do this, time lapse it, and we'll get on with our harvesting. So just a quickie, you may notice this trailer if you're subscribed to Dave as well. We both installed these on the same day because we both thought we had good um, cage trailers. Turns out both of them had invisible collisions on, so they were both useless. So we both installed this trailer at the same day. Um, to make sure it's not exactly the same, I did get rid of the John Deere baler, which is what I originally had on this map. Which is why we're currently looking for a new one. Did that go on? No, it didn't. What an idiot. The only bad thing about these bells is, if you're using a tractor like this, you can't really see it. So maybe the Deutz would have been the best option, seeing as it's a drop nose. Okay guys, now you may have noticed we have suddenly changed tractors. I'm not sure what's wrong with the John Deere. It keeps sliding down the hill. Now I spoke to Fahi. Um, if you don't know who Fahi is, he's one of my um, moderators in my stream. And now he's also my content researcher because he knows all the mods. All the mods in the world. And uh, he, says, he says this isn't doing it. So clearly there's something wrong with just mine. So I may have to reinstall it. Um, that does mean, however... The camera angle is slightly different. So we're now using the Deutz. The reason for that is because it has a drop nose, but it turns out it didn't help anyway because we have those air vents in the way. But hopefully it performs a little bit better anyway. Let's go. I missed that completely. I can see the forks at least on this one. Just tilt them forwards like that. And let's collect these. Yes, we got that one. I really, really, really hate these small bales, guys. I do apologise. But anyway, yeah, let's jump back into the time lapse so we can get on with some harvesting. Now, the only good thing about doing small bales on a cage trailer like this is we do not have to um, worry about how neat they are. I mean, some people do them neatly. I do re I know about that, but um, I personally don't see the point in it. Whoa, shuttle mode. Shuttle mode. Let's collect this one. I know this trailer is automatically pick these up, by the way, guys, but... It's a little bit excessive for a uh, farm of this size, I think. Maybe when we get into that field... That field there is actually pretty big, even for normal standards, because if you look at the map, it does tuck around the corner as well. It's not just what we can see. So maybe for that one, if we're still using the small baler... There's a really weird collision on this uh, tractor. It keeps crashing into the trailer, even though we're not actually touching the trailer. So I may actually go into Giants Editor and um, change the collision box on this particular tractor. I also need to change the steering wheel, because if you look at my wheel on the camera, guys, and then the wheel actually on the game, that's turning a lot. I think that's doing 900 degrees, whereas my steering wheel is only doing 450 degrees. Okay, right guys, so, um, I think I may have filled it a little bit too much, I was going to try and get the whole field in, but um, there's still some up there, they're not really rendered in properly, but there's still some up there. It started to overflow now, uh, you see one just fell out, so that was kind of my cue to probably go and unfill this right, uh, unfill? Unload this right now. 
We're going to see if this tractor can pull it, although I'm not sure it will be able to. Right, sorry about that, guys. I just got and got myself a thumbnail. So we're going to go ahead and attach the bales. Hopefully it works. I'm looking for some sort of sign. Yeah, that's worked. Now, this tractor may not even be able to pull this trailer, but we'll give it a go anyway. This is probably the oldest tractor you guys have seen me drive ever. So, <laughs> hopefully it goes well. And it's moving. That's a good sign. Maybe I should probably check to see where we sail the bales before we drive, but... Um, hopefully it's not at the store. I've got a feeling it's going to be at the store, guys. Right, guys. So I have no idea where the bale sail point is, which means we're going to go on an adventure. And I am not taking this tractor on the adventure. So what we're going to do is unhitch this. We'll jump back on. Uh, we'll just leave it here for now. Not too fussed about this tractor. Now you guys finally, for the first time, get to see us take the Fiat. Now the reason I don't use the Fiat very often is because it's manual. And when I say manual, I mean completely manual. Um, I don't have any controls mapped out for it just yet. So let's go ahead and put the bonnets on. That was the PDA. We want that. Let's jump into the Fiat. This may be a bit loud, so I need to turn it down in editing, which is why I record my microphone onto a separate channel. Okay, let's go start her up. I'm actually going to remove the four-wheel drive and stuff. Okay, now she is on. She may not be loud yet, but as soon as we start driving, she'll pick up. Let's make sure we are in first gear. Yes, we are. Now, I'm going to have to do this with one hand, because like I said, I don't have the gears mapped out just yet. There's gear two. There's gears three. Now, unfortunately, this is a private mod, guys, so if you want this tractor... I cannot give it to you, I'm afraid, but there is similar Fiat's on the store. Reverse is actually ironically mapped out, so I can reverse and go forward into gear one. I just can't go from gear one up through the other gears. So yeah, um, unfortunately I can't give you this tractor. Let's just double check to make sure the bales are still locked. Yes, they are. And there we have it. Let's, let's take this forward would help simulate. There we go. Just take this fear out looking for these bales. Well, not the bales, looking for the sell point, I should say. Head tracking would help as well. So here we are. Head tracking. Um, what way should we go first? Right, we are there. Well, it's not going to be left. There's nothing up left. So we're going to head to possibly one of the sell points up here. We're going to cut across the field because there's not actually a road there I thought there was. This is actually our field, guys. We actually own this field, so we're probably going to do that in the next video. Uh, yeah, we'll head up the road. Why not? Have we got beacons at all? Actually, although we can't see them, we do have beacons on this tractor. Uh, I believe it's this button here. Did that work? There we go. Now we have beacons. Bit of a weird system, that, but at least we have beacons. There's gear four. We have a cornfield next to us. We don't own the cornfield, unfortunately, but hopefully it's something we'll get in the pa in the past, in the future. I'm going to go this way, actually, because I'm pretty sure that's just where we buy our vehicles. There's nothing up here. Probably shouldn't have turned this way. I'm actually going to find a place to turn around. Like here, there's a dirt track we can take. If you guys know where the sail point is, you're probably screaming at your screen right now, but this is my first time doing it. This thing's got quite a lot of torque. I didn't even slow. Oh, this is bumpy. This is very, very bumpy. It. Pretty sure this isn't it, but... Looks like another yard, actually. Is this ours? Am I in someone else's farm? I got a feeling we're in someone else's farm. <laughs> Sorry, whoever owns this one. Guys, I think I found it. I just went for a little walk outside of the tractor, and I think I may have actually found it. Very, very good accomplishment for someone as stupid as me. Oh gosh, this has got a really bad turning circle, this tractor. It's good job we bought a dolly trailer and not a uh, axle trailer. 
Right, we're in Europe, so we actually go in this way. That doesn't make sense. This is on the wrong side, this thing. Because this is actually the left. Surely we should be going in on the right. But yeah, I think I found the straw. We have to go around here. We'll flick it up to gear three. Very nice that they've used the uh, Sovznoka um, cell point. It's technically, it was storage, but... Yes, this is the bow cell point. For some reason, some of them are not gone. Why are these still on the trailer? That's the question. So let's go back and collect the rest of our bales, and that should be a day, we and then we'll skip the time, and then we'll get on with the harvesting. So we're still going to be doing harvesting in this video, but we're going to forward wind the time, if that makes sense, so it's the next day in the game. Does that make sense? Hopefully it makes sense. Okay, everybody, so it is the next morning now, um, 6.30 in the morning, to be precise. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do some harvesting. Now, if you watched the last episode, you may have agreed with me when I said... The harvester was a little bit too big for that particular field. We do have big fields on our farm, for example, 24, um, 10, etc. like that. Uh, still a little bit too big for the farms that are actually on our yard. So, just like the other tractor, the people who owned the farm last time actually left behind a piece of equipment. So hopefully it works. Um, yeah, like I said, hopefully it works. Um, it's this little car uh, combine here. I believe it's a class... Uh, what says on the back? Metador. Um, all the belts and stuff look they're still in kind of good condition, so hopefully it works. Nice little sun protection there. Um, let's see if she works. Um, try and start her up. Yes, there we go. She is alive. Let's close the uh, side bonnet there. She's idling pretty high, so she does need to have a look at it at some point, but... Should be okay for now. We're going to have to go get a tractor because the head is also behind here, I believe. Can't see it. But I believe the head is behind here, yes. So we need to get a tractor to pull that out. I believe all of our tractors are actually up here, so we might have to move them out the way as well for performance reasons. This is the canola field. Very, very small. Which is why we are using the Metador today. Very nice harvester. Now, we're going to pull the pipe out and just leave it out because that's sort of what the old combines used to do anyway. So yeah, in case you guys haven't noticed on a serious note, this is a farm... A let's play, sorry. This is a let's play on a farm that's probably going to be smaller equipment. Not necessarily old, just small. Um, little shortcuts like this. I think that'll do nicely right there. Let's go ahead and jump out. Now for the people that like the new big equipment, Thornton Farm, my let's play on Thornton Farm, we're going to be upgrading our equipment very soon, as soon as we get paid from our... I can't really give much away, but... We're getting lots of money on Thornton Farm very soon, so, um, so yeah, all of the old style equipment for the people that like the old small stuff, that's going to be on this farm, and Thornton Farm slowly going to be upgraded to not big equipment, but new equipment. I'm not going to get big equipment because it makes no sense. Now, I'm going to have to adjust the um, XML file on this combine because if I turn my steering wheel 450 degrees, well, not 450 degrees, if I turn it all the way to the right, you can see it actually only moves about, what is that, 45 degrees, probably less. So, yeah, going to have to adjust that at some point. But I won't worry about that in this video. Let's go ahead and connect our header trailer up. Header trailer? That's just the header, sorry. I'm quite tired, in case you guys can't tell. Let's go ahead and start her up. It shouldn't take too long, guys. Like I said, we have a small combine now, but it's still only a very small field. The one thing I haven't got yet, did I get a smaller trailer? I can't remember. Yes, I did, that green one over there. Because if you remember in the first episode, I had that big blue one, or was it green? can't remember. I had a big trailer anyway. Decided against that in the end. Uh, way too big for this map. That's kind of like a Thornton style. Maybe even too big for Thornton sort of thing, but... Much more happier with the trailer we've got now. Much more to scale to the farm, I'd say. Now, one thing I need to clear off, guys, this is not a roleplay, this is to do with the channel. A lot of people have been asking about the Farm Sim 17 giveaway. Yes. It's happening. I did say in a couple of videos, don't nag, but apparently people have been doing that anyway, just chose to ignore that. It is happening, and I said I wasn't going to announce it until a couple of weeks before the game release. So yes, it's happening. Not going to say anything about it apart from this until about a couple of weeks or maybe four weeks tops before it's actually released. Good news is someone told me, I forgot, the, I forgot your name, so I do apologise. Um, someone told me it's out on Tuesday. 
which means we have the whole week to record lots and lots of farm sim, which we have to warn my girlfriend about. Sorry, love, but, you know, morals and all that. Now, some of you are probably thinking, Simulate, why are you doing this in circles? Why are you doing it as a square? Because it's, the only reason for that is because it is canola and it's also a really small field. Obviously, if it's a big field, we'll be doing lengths. In fact, we are 82% full already, so I need to think about getting the trailer. Luckily, the John Deere is still with us, and the tipper trailer is right over there. So, yeah, if it was a big field, I'd be doing lengths, and if it was, obviously, uh, wheat and barley, I'd be uh, doing lengths still, just to keep the uh, straw neat. Lower that. I wonder if we can get the whole field in here. I'm going to assume no. But, um, we'll try anyway. Now, some of you guys may be thinking, Simulate, where did your money come from if you've noticed that we suddenly have a lot more money? No, I did not cheat. If you remember at the beginning of the episode, I said I sold off a lot of equipment. Most of it's from that. And it just so happens that the newer stuff was a lot cheaper. We are full now, by the way. So, let's actually get out the crops. Um, let's park like... In fact, no, we're going to go down to the... Uh, I don't know what this is called. The patio. <laughs> Good thing about open-top harvesters like this is small open top harvesters, you can actually see the pipe, it's like literally right next to you. Okay, we are ready to go again. Let's just do a little U-turn here. A little three-point turn. Nice and easy does her. And we should literally be able to do this next part in like two lengths. I'm not sure how much is left from the last take. Let's turn her on. So it should be the last bit, hopefully. Oh, there's a bit I missed there because we got 100% just before we got to the end, which was annoying. So let's go and collect this part as well. If you made it to the end of the video, guys, let me know. Type in class. Is that class? Yeah, type in class with two A's. Um, in the comments, let me know you made it to the end. You are the people that are supporting my channel, by the way. I'm not sure. What, how many subscribers are we on? Last time I checked, we were on like eight. 890, which I am really blown away by, guys. We literally only hit 800, like, two days ago. So I don't know where the hell the other 90 people come from, but I do thank you a lot. There's actually a video I've recorded, which I haven't uploaded yet, and I'm going to upload that. It's basically a milestone I've hit personally. It doesn't mean anything to you guys, but I'll upload it anyway just to say thank you and just to show you what that, that personal milestone was. I can't actually get this. So guys, that whole field was 11%. I cannot believe one of our fields is only 11% of a small, re relatively small tipper trailer. Now, I know you're probably thinking, Simulate, that's probably still a, too big of a trailer. Yes, it is, but don't forget we do have bigger fields as well. So we got, I believe, wheat, barley. So I'm going to assume this one's canola, hopefully. Should say on the wall. Yes, it is canola. That's the 2013 icon for canola. Is this a converted map? Now, I actually do have a strong feeling about 2013 maps, because I... Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I always feel like the 2000 map... Two, Farm Sim 2013 maps were a lot more detailed than the 15 maps. Let's just lift that camera up a little bit. This, um, Deutz says the cube map's a little bit too aggressive on these windows, so I might remove the cube map. For those of you that don't know what a cube map is, it's basically the reflections. They're not actually real reflections, they're basically a picture that gets pasted over the top and sort of emulates a reflection. So I'm tempted to remove that. Let's just straighten up a little bit so we don't jackknife in the doorway because that would be awkward. And let's unload. That was it. It didn't even lift up, guys. Did you see that? Wow, we need to start doing bigger fields. So the next episode, we will be doing our big field, which is field number six. We'll also plant in field number one. Number one's re relatively big. That's the one that's right in front of our yard. We've got, we own 26. I can't remember what 26 is. I think that might be corn, which is awkward because we don't have any forage wagons or forage harvesters, in fact. Let's just uh, take this trailer back. So guys, thank you for joining me again on Old Streamers Map. I've been Simulate Gaming. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please tap that thumbs up button. It lets me know that you're enjoying this series and lets me keep making this series. Hit subscribe if you want to see more from my channel. I'll see you in the next one.